It's 9 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. Enjoy your favorite holiday foods without the holiday bulge. A local doctor shares the secrets to avoiding all that belly fat from all that good food that is coming up right after this. Right now it's 909. You're watching Good Day Orlando. To indulge, but when the holiday partying is over, our bodies will likely feel it. Studies have shown 14% of people will gain at least five pounds during the holiday season. So what can you do to lose that holiday belly fat? Fat after you indulge. Joining us now with some simple tips is Dr. Jamine Brombach from the Pure Clinic in partnership with Orlando Health. Good morning, doctor. Hey, Andrea. Nice Good to see you again. again. Yeah. Okay, so tis the season. I mean, we've had tons of treats here around the office. You even brought in donuts. Yeah, the irony is I brought you guys donuts oh, as I'm about out. to start talking about how to stop <laughs> eating donuts. <laughs> so, what food should we avoid? Yes, yeah, so as you mentioned, tis the season to be jolly. It's also tis the season to open up that belt buckle. Yeah. But as of the 26th, as a season to get healthy again. So foods to avoid, There's, I can go on a list. It could take hours and hours and hours, but I'm gonna actually focus on two liquids to avoid. Okay. One is alcohol. Uh, if you think about beer, beer has about 150, 200 calories in about a 12 ounce of beer. Even glasses of wine sometimes can have up to 80 to 200 calories depending on the type of wine you're drinking. With a lot drinking. of sugar too. With a lot of sugar. Yeah. So those are things that you can avoid. But more importantly, one of the most common things that we drink is soda. Yes. As Americans, we drink soda twice as much as milk and six times more than fruit juices. My goodness. Certain sodas, and this is, I'm not talking about uh, calorie free or sugar free soda, but sodas can have up to 450 calories in a whole bottle when you're drinking it. So it, it's, it's definitely calories that you can avoid. And actually, there's something very, a very cheap, actually a free alternative that you can actually drink, and that's water. water. <laughs> <laughs> we love that yeah. one. Water and unsweet iced tea. Exactly. If you can get used to it. Okay, now, what about other foods that will help us lose weight? So um, th there's a lot of research on there and certain foods that will hype up your metabolism. But uh, one uh, food uh, group, which is um, basically lean protein, um, such as cottage cheese or low-fat yogurts, um, in moderation, those have been shown to actually last longer in your stomach. It takes longer to digest them, so you're going to feel fuller longer. And it actually takes your body more calories to burn that protein. So not okay. only, it's, it's kind of like you're staying fuller longer and, it's, and you're burning more calories digesting it. So okay. if, there's, if you have an option between some lean protein or some bread, I would definitely take the lean For protein. The lean protein, okay, because it gives your body a workout exactly, too. Exactly. Okay, what about stopping those cravings? Because it's really tough if you got a sweet tooth or you like the salty food. Ooh. Yeah, cravings I would say are the hardest, and I'm suffering from this right now. We have about three tins of caramel popcorn in my oh, house. Oh my God. And I'm craving it as I talk about it. But one thing is caramel popcorn or any craving, think about, take 10 minutes. So let's say you're having a craving for certain foods. Yeah. What you should do is take basically 10 minutes before you eat it. And you'll notice that in those 10 minutes, your craving are most, most times are gone. Another thing is sometimes people get, get confused. They can think they're hungry and have cravings, but in reality, they're just dehydrated. So try drinking some water, either before a large meal or just trying to drink water when you have those cravings, and then wait those 10 minutes and see how you're feeling afterwards. And that might keep you fuller longer or exactly. help you eat less when you do yep. indulge in those cravings. Yeah. And what about stress? Because the holidays are very stressful. Very stressful. Yeah. Especially when all those bills start coming yeah. in. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, when you think about stress, if you think about physiologically, you have this um, hormone called cortisol. And what is that? It's basically a stress hormone. What it's been shown to do is change your sugar in your body and your insulin receptors and basically your insulin which can basically f increase your appetite so the stress even though sometimes it may just be food cravings there's something definitely something hormonal going on with stress so, so to avoid that basically try to avoid what's causing the stress okay. so maybe sh shop a little less next year and we should say a big congratulations to you yes uh, big congratulations I became an uncle yesterday right my sister in New Jersey had a holiday baby so happy birthday Cheyenne Aww. my entire family is very excited and I look forward to spoiling you with some treats next week. So. Oh, nice. Very good, Dr. Bomba. Thank you Andrea, so thank much. Thank you so much. Great to see you.